Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today you will learn how to easily make a stencil or a vector of a woman in Adobe Illustrator using just a couple shapes. Let's begin. We start by creating the legs by clicking on the rectangle tool and going to the rounded rectangle tool. Click once and make a rounded rectangle that's 30 by 200 and has a corner radius of 25. Press OK. Good. Now click on it, hold Alt and Shift, and drag it to the side until it snaps right down the middle like that. That's our two legs. Now hold Alt and Shift, move it again till it snaps into the midpoint, and move it right to the midpoint, right here, and a bit past it. These are the arms. Now, take that shape that we have there, and hold Alt and Shift until it snaps to this point. Now we have our two arms. Next shape we're gonna do, we're gonna press M, click, and we're gonna create a rectangle that's 100 by 100 pixels and press OK. Now we're gonna zoom in. We're gonna make this centered right here and we're gonna move this, we can stretch it out so it's a bit past the arms, maybe roughly to that height or so, okay? And we can stretch this right to the top like that. Then we're gonna press A. We're gonna select this anchor point tool and hold Shift until it snaps right there into that point. And then we're gonna select this one, hold Shift until it snaps to the top of that leg. This is the shape of the skirt. Now to move the arms, we're gonna select the arms like this. We're gonna go to Object, Transform, and Rotate. And we're gonna rotate it by 13 degrees on this arm right here and press OK, like that. And on this arm, we're gonna select it and we're gonna go to Object, Transform, Rotate it, and we'll rotate this one by minus 13 degrees. Okay, and press OK, and now it's rotate out. Now all we have to do is we have to take these arms and we just have to pull them out just a tiny bit. Maybe roughly to there is. Okay, so just a few pixels up. And I'm also gonna move them up until they snap with this line right here, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing here, select it, move it out just a tiny bit like that. And then hold shift and actually select the top of it. Hold shift until it snaps right there, okay? So now it's all the right height. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a rounded rectangle, or actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select one of the legs, like here, hold Control C, and then Control Shift V, that's copy, and copy in place, and paste in place. And we're gonna stretch it out so that it overlaps and creates kind of a shoulder, like that, okay? And we're gonna pull it out to this side, like that. All right, so now we have, this arm will blend into that one, okay? Now with everything selected, just like that, we're gonna go to our Pathfinder tool right here and we're gonna press Unite. And it creates the shape, it's pretty easy. Now we create our line saving tool and click from right here, hold Shift until roughly that height and then do the same thing over here, click that anchor point, drag it up to roughly 100 pixels or something like that. Then press Object, Transform, and Reflect, just so we don't have to draw that line again, and reflect it vertically, and then press Copy. Then we're just gonna move it to this side till it roughly snaps to there, that looks pretty good like that. And the last bit, we're gonna make the head super simple, press L to make an ellipse, click, and make an ellipse that's 50 by 50. Press OK, center it, roughly there, bring it up just a bit like that, and there you have it, there's your baseline shape. It's super easy. Now we can select our shape, we can do one more thing. We can hold Alt and Shift, move it to the side right here, and we can inverse the colors, okay? So I'm gonna press this button to swap the colors, and I'm gonna make sure that the stroke right here is white, and press OK. And now we have kind of two different effects. One last thing to do is if you do this shape right here, you can select it, actually on all the ones, you can select your shapes, go to your strokes panel right here, and then click on the rounded cap, okay? Now, if we zoom in right here, we see that right here we have a rounded cap and it's not just a sharp straight line. It gives a nicer effect. But that's all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Check out our other videos. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And of course, as always, have a great day.